the humans are always talking about money. <laughs> what is money, Coordinator Zhang? On our planet, we go to the Fluffle Pod and help ourselves to whatever we want. But on Earth, they have to pay for everything with, with this. Uh, money. <laughs> it's a golden sticky liquid that goes in a jar. Why does it say honey on the label? Have you not learnt to read Earth words yet? <laughs> it says money, not honey. Yummy. It's delicious. This is my money. Make your own. But how am I going to do that? You have to get one of these money-making machines inside... Put these shoes. They're a little bit out of my price range, but I have to have them. My toes demand it. There's just a teeny tiny problem. I'm broke. Oh, look at all the junk mail I got this morning. Isn't it great? With this coupon, I can get 25% off a caravan. Jack, you can't drive and you haven't got a car. What are you going to do with a caravan? Use it to store a year's supply of horse food going cheap with this coupon. You haven't got a horse? No, but I can get two for one on hamsters. They eat hay, don't they? Jack, this is junk and it's all going in the recycling so it can be turned into something useful. Oh, uh, you got to let me keep this one. It's a coupon for a free nappy. I thought it might come in handy when I open this and find out how much money I've got in my account. Can you please not do that? Do a break too. I don't know, I haven't opened it yet. It doesn't smell good though. You can tell just by sniffing the envelope. Be brave. Open it. We can be poor together. Oh, thanks Danny. But if you do have any money, I will be taking it to buy these shoes. Mm, hey, I had a coupon for those. 50% off. No! <laughs> when they say you'll grow if you eat your vegetables, they really mean it. My lab coat's shrunk in the wash. I can't afford a new one. Can anyone lend me some cash? Sorry, I'm saying not to buy these shoes. Yes, I am, you pretty little things. Why can't you be prettier? Annie, they're just shoes. My lab coat is way more important. Without that, I can do any of my science experiments and... <gasps> oh, they are beautiful. Yes. We have to get these. No, but that's so expensive. Shoes made out of solid gold would probably be cheaper. You won't get me spending that kind of money on foot furniture. All you need is a cheap pair of trainers. Bunny rabbit slippers. Jack, you got dressed on top of your pyjamas again. You turn her into a slob. All right, chill out. It's just a wardrobe malfunction. I am not a slob. Mm. Oh. 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 What? Only bees want to see you eat. I've got a million quid in my bank account. How'd that get there? I must be better at saving than I thought. <laughs> I'm so furious. <laughs> Let's go get some money. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. upset him calling him a slob. That was you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you upset him with whatever you said. Oh, look. He's opened his bank statement. Wonder how much money he's got. We shouldn't look. It's private. <laughs> Bet he's as broke as me. What are all those noughts? <gasps> he's a millionaire. I've had it with being poor, Ben. I want to be so rich, I need a piggy bank the size of a house. I mean, how hard can it be to make a million pounds? Easy. Quite hard. Very hard. Impossible. 
One of the above. All we have to do is come up with a brilliant money-making scheme. Money, 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 money. Can you stop saying money? Okay, Max. Cash, 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 cash. Oh, gotcha. What we need is something that people can't live without. Ooh, I know, I know, I know. Go for it. Air. People can't live without air, right? You want to make money by selling people air? We need to work out how to bag it up and we're in business. Why would people pay for something they can already get for free? Or we can make sweets. Hey, you know what we could make, Ben? Sweets. Everybody loves sweets. But isn't that just... You know, sometimes I amaze even myself. Eh, <laughs> what do you like? <laughs> but if he's got all this money, why does he dress so scruffily and come round here scavenging for food? Maybe he's one of those secret millionaires who don't want people to know they're really rich. I can't believe he didn't tell us. We're his best friends. I know. We're supposed to tell each other everything. His secret would have been safe with us. OK, so we would have told a few people. OK, a lot. OK, we would have told everyone. But so what if everyone knows he's a millionaire? I mean, it's not like we treat him any differently. I know. He's still the same old Jack to me. Whose money I could borrow to buy these expensive shoes. Oh, Danny. What? He can afford it. He probably carries that much around with him and lose change. We can't tell him we know about the money. He obviously hasn't told us for a reason. I don't care if he's the tooth fairy bankrolling a big week. I want to know where he got all this money from. So it's just a clerical error. The decimal point's in the wrong place. I see. So how much have I got on my account? Ten pounds. Great. Well, he can't know that we know what he doesn't want us to know. I know, I know. But how am I supposed to pretend I don't know my best friend is Mr Moneybags? Well, you're an actress. Start acting like nothing's happened. Hi, Jack! Hi, guys. Listen, sorry I was such a mess earlier on. Oh, don't worry about it. We love you just the way you are, right, Sam? Don't change a thing. <laughs> oh, get your jacket. Would you like a drink? Uh, juice would be nice. You don't want that cheap stuff. Danny's got some freshly squeezed orange juice. Mm -hmm. Isn't that one of your mum's expensive crystal glasses that you said I should never touch? Ever. In case I break it. I don't worry if you break it. It's only money. <laughs> Why are you both looking at me like that? I wasn't looking. Were you looking? No, I'm not looking. Is it OK if I check my emails on your laptop? Yeah, yeah, it's in the den. Maybe you should upgrade your mobile and check them any time. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I could afford that. Did you hear that? He's totally faking. He shouldn't be keeping this money a secret. He should be out spending it. That boy needs some serious retail therapy. Shoes! <laughs> Time we did some market research, Ben. You want us to eat all these sweets? To invent something new and make our fortunes, we need to know what works and what doesn't. This is the greatest day of my life. Let's start with these blue ones. Mmm, fruity. Good mouthfeel. Tastes like blackberries. I'm getting a hint of blueberry with maybe just a splash of apple. Ooh, a chewy centre. I'd say a medium density caramel. Uh oh, it's a drawbreaker. I could send you straight to the dentist. <laughs> your teeth are gone blue. Yours too. That is the worst kind of sweet. Totally gives away to your mum what you've been up to. We want soft. Coffee and no evidence. Let's try a cheeky red. Mmm. <laughs> we think you should spend some money on yourself. You know, smarten yourself up a bit. Make yourself look like a million dollars. Oh, so you do think I'm a slob? No, we're just saying you don't have to dress down to hang out with us. We'd still be your friends even if you wore expensive clothes. OK, OK, I get the message. But I don't know where I'm going to find the money to buy new clothes. <laughs> In your bank account, maybe? Uh, have you seen my bank account? No. no. I don't expect a miracle makeover. <laughs> and now we have the weightlifting event, which should be a real highlight at this year's Shopping Olympics. <laughs> He's going to try and beat the world record by holding four carrier bags in each hand. Do you think he can do it, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Those shopping bags are really hard to hold on to. After a few seconds, your fingers start to go numb. It's really hard to hold on. It's what the competitors call the high street stagger. <laughs> He's going to really need a clean lift to take home that gold medal. Yep. Oh, he's up, but can't
Everybody hold it! Three, two, one! And he's done it! A new world record! Does anyone see my shopping bag with my new bedside lamp? Right. Let's get started. How do you actually make sweets? I have no idea. We probably need a bowl, right? Right, to mix the ingredients. What ingredients are in sweets? There's sugar and, uh, let's just find a bowl first. What's that? Looks like a music box. Try turning the handle. Broken. Broken. <laughs> what could you make with this? Really small ice cubes? <laughs> Found a bowl. Oh no, it's broken. Look at all the holes in it. Maybe we could block them up with frozen peas. Good idea. <laughs> it works. Don't know what all the fuss is about. This cooking lock is easy. Ready? Bring it on. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Looks like someone's been splashing the cash. Come on, let's see what you bought. Whoa. Whoa. I told you to buy clothes, not nick them. This amazing thing happened. I was out shopping, right, and I bumped into this girl who was collecting for a charity. Booties for pooches. Did you just say booties for pooches? <laughs> she knits booties on homeless dogs so their feet won't get cold at night. <laughs> How cute is that? Dogs have fur, they don't need booties. Is wool even waterproof? Anyway, we get talking, and I decided, instead of buying clothes for myself, I'd buy wool and help Kathy knit. Kathy? Yeah, she's just sorting a bike out. You brought her back here? Oh, hi, you must be Jack's friends. Is it okay if we do some knitting here? Yeah, come on in, knit away. I think what you're doing for homeless dogs is wonderful. Pooches for pooches? Oh, please. It's just a made up charity. She's only here to get her hands on Jack's money. We must protect our friend. I don't think we need all these ingredients. If you want to invent a brand new sweet, we can't rule anything out. Olives. Well, yeah, we can rule those out, but everything else stays. Tin tuna. <laughs> We're making sweets that taste of fish. It's dolphin friendly. That could be a good selling point for us. I downloaded some basic recipes. None of them need tuna. We're inventors. We have to experiment. I mean, who knows? Tuna toffee could be the next big thing. We are so not going to be millionaires. <laughs> I think my booty's gone a bit wrong. Maybe we could use it as a sleeping bag for snakes. It's better than my first effort. That's a rhomboid. There's no need to be rude. That's the name of the geometric shape you've knitted. Wow. So, Kathy, how many people are there at this charity? It's just me. Really? Just you? Have you collected much money yet? Not yet, I'm working on it. Got your eye on some wealthy donor, eh? Millionaire with a soft spot for dogs? I've got enough money, it's um, knitters I really need. Oh dear. And I thought I was doing bad. The booties have attacked us! It's a knit astrophe. <laughs> Relax, I'll get some scissors. Oh, Jack is so nice, wish I had a friend like him. You mean you wish you had his money more like? Sorry? We know your game. You can drop the act now, missy. What are you talking about? We're talking about you trying to get your grubby little hands on Jack's million pounds. Jack's got a million pounds? Like you don't know already. I was thinking, why don't we get Kathy to teach us how to knit first? Then we'll be bootylicious. Unfortunately, <laughs> Kathy was just leaving. But you just got here. Well, uh... Oh, please say. We really want to learn how to knit, don't we, girls? Girls? I'll teach you the basics, then I've got to get going. If that's OK with you. Yeah, cool. Great right idea. So, tell me what we're supposed to do with these bad boys. What are you knitting, coordinator? Tentacle warmers. Look, I've finished one already. You won't need those when I'm finished. What are you knitting, coordinator? A jumper for the spaceship. Oh, 
Maybe we put too much treacle in our tuna toffee. You think? Keep stirring. The spoon won't budge. Push harder. <gasps> hey, the top of the spoon. Oh, no. I'm going in. It's so sticky and horrible. I've got it. Don't mess about, Ben. We need to crack on. My hand's stuck. <gasps> oh, no. What am I supposed to do with this? You could use it as an umbrella. It isn't funny. I want my hand back. Pull as hard as you can. <laughs> wow, that is some handshake you've got there. Pull it off. OK. <clears throat> it's not working. I'll go get help. Oh, great. <laughs> Phew, for a moment I thought it was stuck to you there. <laughs> Next time I say we use a recipe, we use a recipe. <laughs> that little scam artist Kathy might have pulled the wool over Jack's eyes, but she's not going to fool us, right, Sam? Nip, one, <laughs> Sam! Danny, you made me drop a stitch. You're making booties. I know, Kathy's a really good teacher. Oh, such a good liar, more like. She's really sweet once you get to know her. And I don't think she's after Jack's money. Of course she's sweet. That's how con artists work. They get you to like them and then... One pearl, one... BAM! They take you for everything you've got. Not again. Danny, you're making me botch my booty. Do you honestly think she goes round putting booties on stray dogs? Well, I say innocent until proven guilty. That's it. I'll borrow the dog from next door and pretend it's a stray. Then we'll see if she can put booties on pooches. Wow. You've got such a devious mind. Oh, thanks. <laughs> ah, I'm getting hungry. Oh, me too. <sighs> yeah, see if you can reach that packet of biscuits over there. Ah, almost there. Almost there. <laughs> I can smell the tuna. Right? Ah! I'm free. Back, Izzy, back! Who took the tuna toffee? Well, there goes our first satisfied customer. <laughs> Man, this thing is warm. I'm kind of wishing I'd left myself a bigger hole. Oh, he's so cute and so clean. Are you sure he's a stray? He's a stray, all right. Definitely a stray. Dogs don't come strayer than this. Hasn't your neighbour got a dog just like this? No, he hasn't got a dog. I've heard it barking. Yeah, well, you've got a knitted helmet on. You can't hear anything. Anyway, I thought we could fit it with some booties. <gasps> Great idea. You're actually going to put booties on this dog? Well, that's what she said. Here, use mine. Oh, let's make these paws all nice and toasty. Aren't you a good doggy? Yes, you are. That is adorable. No, it's not. It looks ridiculous. Hey, buddy. Look, if you feel like swapping, just bite your tail, yeah? <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring you home with me, yes, I am. No, 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 you, you can't have him. Why not? Yeah, Danny, why not? Because, because uh, I saw it first. <laughs> uh, you've got the cat from hell. That's not going to work. Keep out of it, nip boy. Danny doesn't want you to have the dog because he's not a stray. Sam! It's next door's dog. I knew it. Yeah, see, these woolly ears are working just fine. I thought your charity was a fake and I wanted to test you. I'm really sorry. No, you're right. I'm sorry. The charity is fake. What? what? Well, there's no such thing as booties for poochies. I made it up. So you are a con artist? No. I'm a secret millionaires. I go around helping out the less fortunate. I saw Jack in town dressed in his pyjamas jam smeared all over his face, and I thought, here's someone who needs help. You let me go out with jam on my face. See, I told her she wasn't after Jack's money. How was I supposed to know? It'd be nice for a change to meet a millionaire that didn't keep it a secret. Let me get this straight. You thought I was some kind of pauper? Sorry. Easy mistake to make. Thanks. But how was Booties for Peaches going to help Jack? He's not a stray dog in need of knitwear. Well, I wanted to give him something to do. By the time I realised I made a mistake, I didn't really know what to say. What, so all this knitting was for nothing? No, I was going to pay you for the booties. Oh, that's OK, then. Uh, let me see how many I've got here. Let me see. One, uh, two... Jack, from what I've heard, you don't need my money. Uh, what have you heard? She hasn't heard anything. She must be thinking of another Jack. 
Don't you think you should be out there helping people who have less money than you? There's someone out there with less money than me. Yeah, me for a start. What if I knit booties? Will you pay me? I need some money for some shoesies. I mean, shoes. I think it will get along just fine without my help. It was fun knitting with you, though, guys. We'll do it again sometime. How much do you think she would have given me for this? <laughs> Next up is lot 287. A rare and priceless knitted thing. A million pounds, anybody? <coughs> ah, you, madam. <coughs> no, you were just coughing. <laughs> ah, you, sir. Yes, you scratching your nose. You bid a million pounds? You've got an itch. <laughs> right. It says here it's a multi purpose piece of knitwear. Can be used as a scarf. Skipping rope? Oh, OK, I admit it, it's rubbish. Who wants this useless pile of wool for nothing? Sold to the sheep shivering in the back. It's so much easier when you follow a recipe. That's what I said. But would you listen? No. We had to experiment. That was my idea. We can't all be geniuses, Ben. Now, my idea is that we sell these and make a fortune. We probably should test one to make sure they taste okay. Good idea. We wouldn't want any complaints now, would we? Mmm. That tastes amazing. They are chewy and adorable. These are the best sweets ever. We're gonna be millionaires, Ben. Millionaires! Maybe we should test one more, just be on the safe side. That's the side I don't want to be on. <laughs> what I don't get is why you thought she was a con artist in the first place. We thought she was trying to steal your money. What money? I'm broke. Oh, yeah. We keep forgetting your skin cashed out as poor as a church mouse. Why are you still knitting? She's gone. I like the sound it makes. Clickety-click, 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 clickety-click. It feels like I'm on a train. Jack, I think it's about time you told us your secret. What secret? We know. We just want you to tell us. OK, look. I didn't want to tell you because I was afraid of what you think of me. We're your friends. We'll stick with you no matter what. All right, I admit it. It is me who's been leaving the toilet seat up in the bathroom. Men. Man, girls are so fussy about that stuff. Maybe next time we shouldn't test all the sweets. No, I'm so full I can't move. People who make sweets must be the size of a house. With really rotten teeth. You must have to go to the dentist all the time. <sighs> Sweet making was a bad idea. We'd eat all the stock and end up losing money and our teeth. We should grow and sell vegetables. We'd never eat any of them. Hey, look. We missed one. <laughs> we should try and sell it. It is very rare. We could put it on for sale at a million pounds. Are those cat hairs stuck to it? Yes, let's charge two million. At oh, that price, it's a bargain. Who wants to be a millionaire anyway? Not me. <laughs> the cat from hell. You have it. No, you have it. No, you have it. <laughs> Booties for bears was a much better idea. There you are, all cosy. Oh, do you want a pair? Coming right up. I feel bad making Jack tell us his secret. Me too. Wish I'd never seen that stupid bank statement. Look out! It's careful now! <laughs> hey, I know. Mittens for kittens. <laughs> <laughs> no! You should get rid of all your woolly jumpers. I'm on it. <sighs> Hi. Hi. I'm really sorry I didn't tell you my big secret. No, we're sorry. We shouldn't have said anything. I bought you these to make up for it. You bought us shoes. You didn't. I did. He didn't. He did! <laughs> you didn't have to do this. But thank you. You know, you don't have to keep buying us expensive stuff just because you're a millionaire. But I'm not a millionaire. Jack, we know. We saw your bank statement. No, they made a mistake. The decimal point was in the wrong place. I've got ten pounds, not a million. But if that's true, how could you afford these shoes? I sold my favourite decks to the second-hand store to pay for them. You did what? Your friendship means more to me than being a DJ. Oh, Jack, that's so sweet. Stay right here. 
we're going to go buy your decks back. Oh, ah, uh, these are more difficult to walk in than I thought. Yeah, they really pinch your toes. Ow, 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 ow. What are we going to do with all this money? Oh, I know. Let's buy things from each other. Oh, excellent suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, would you like to buy a jar of money? Yes, please. How much will it cost? Um, one jar. Would you like to buy a jar of money? Oh, yes, please. How much does it cost? One jar. Oh. Shopping's really boring. Yeah, let's just eat the money instead.